This is my 3D printer. It's a Creality CR10, and it's actually a CR10S now. The motherboard, you got hit by lightning, and so I upgraded it to a 10S when I bought the new motherboard. So it's, it's, it's a basic 3D printer, cheap. Um, it, it'll do a large, you can print a large item on here. It, I don't make figurines and stuff like that, so I, this one to me puts out pretty good quality, but that's really not what I'm looking for. I, I do mostly functional items, things like this. This is a cover that I made to cover an electronic item that I had strapped to a telephone pole. I make almost everything out of PLA. It, it works really well for me. Uh, I've got this base on here that um, I use so I don't have to put blue tape on here and stuff like that. If you do any kind of 3D printing, you'll adhesion to the board is an important thing. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about in this video. I think a lot of people buy these 3D printers and the only thing they ever make is parts for their 3D printer, which to me is, why would you do that? So I wanted to give you an idea of just kind of the things that I make with mine. I use it at least once a week, sometimes multiple times a week, just depends. And, you know, I come up with an idea, I make it in Fusion 360, and then I print it on here. And if you're a person that creates things and designs different things and wants to try them out or something like that, these things are invaluable. I'll put a link to a printer like this in the description and also I'll put a link to some of the STL files uh, of the things that I made in case you're interested in that. I probably don't still have all the STL files but the ones that I do have I'll put a link to in the description. And so anyway let me just show you, I'll take you on a tour, show you a bunch of different things that I've made. Hope it'll, it'll inspire you to have some ideas. Um, it's a lot, long list so I'm going to move really quick. One day I looked over and the bottom button on my uh, third arm control on my tractor was missing. And so I reprinted another button and just pressed it on there. This funnel for filling milk jugs. A handle for my GoPro. I have this really cool old microscope but it didn't come with a light source for it. And so I 3D printed this and just put some LEDs in it and it works great. An adapter for my stapler for stapling over wires so it doesn't crush the wire. It won't, you know, the staple stops here instead of pushing way down there to the bottom. Just slides on there when you need it. I made this little black ring that fits under the lotion handle so that when my mother takes a squirt every time she washes her hands, she doesn't use the bottle up, you know, in a, two days. It just puts out a little bit. Made the housing to hold these two switches and an LED on my wife's long arm sewing machine. This terminal block. I printed these little strain relievers and just put some uh, double stick tape on the back side of them to route wires. This is the air conditioner for my shop and it comes out the back of the shop and it's right over the top of my foundry. So it was dripping all over it. So I drilled a hole in it and then I made that little black piece you see right there just screwed it on there and then attached that hose and the hose runs down this pipe and it drips out here on the ground and that fixed that problem. Touch plates for my CNC machine, holders for limit switches on my CNC machine, cover for a solid state relay, a cover for a terminal block. I make a lot of enclosures for different uh, projects that I make. This is for a thermostat. A tray to hold my collets for my CNC machine. This is an enclosure for a Raspberry Pi that I use to run my 3D printer. A box to hold the tachometer for my lathe. I made a cap for the end of my diesel nozzle here to keep dirt out. Made a piece to fill the bung to let the hose into my uh, diesel pump station. A soap dish. It's kind of nasty. It's on, you know, on an outside sink. I made these ends for the hose so when I disconnect things in the winter time, uh, I can plug up both ends of the hose to keep bugs and stuff out of there. Here's a better look at one. I made these little caps to keep my hydraulics clean. <laughs> now they used to all have a little knob on them like that, but um, I've broken them all off but that one. But they still work. Weatherproof covers for my limit switches. Also made this terminal block to hold these wires and it kind of sheds the rain off of it. This is a switch. You can't see it just real well because the sun's behind it. But that switch has been there for about three years. You see it's got a little algae and stuff on it. But 
It seems to be doing fine. Hadn't had any problems with it. And this is another box I put out here about a year ago. This is the camera that I use as, uh, for my tractor and it didn't come with a, a sun shield. So I made a sun shield that goes on it. All right, well, I hope that list was interesting to you and maybe inspires you to uh, think of some things that you might want to make. If you're interested in a 3D printer, I will put a link to it in the description. But as always, thank you for watching.